So in the, um, the last video, I uh, ended it with showing you I was fitting the gas level indicator. What I didn't show you, um, because I'm not fitting it yet, because it's going in the habitation area, and of course I haven't started to build on that yet, but um, basically it's the, it's the actual uh, LED level indicator itself. Um, today's um, project is to, um, I want to run, run some wiring from the rear where there's the reversing speaker. I'm literally putting that on a switch up on the dashboard, just a simple two prong round rocker switch. So, and also on the dashboard, there's a uh, 12 volt um, LED uh, voltage indicator. So I want to put that on a switch because I've got it currently on a on a um, a an ignition. You are joking me, seriously? There you go, beep, beep, beep. Perfect on time. Yeah, I don't even know where I was. Right, 12 volt <laughs> LED voltage indicator, which is uh, on the dashboard. I've got it currently connected to a an ignition live, but the ignition live reads a slightly different voltage to a permanent live, as like say for, directly from the battery. Um, so I'm going to put that on the switch because I don't want it permanently on. That's today's plans, no doubt. As always, you guys know what it's like. We constantly change our plans. Well, I do anyway, because that's just the way I am. Let's get cracking. This is the reverse speaker I was telling you about. I'm going to literally run the cable uh, from, from this to the two prong rocker switch that will be on the dashboard that just simply breaks the circuit so that I can turn this speaker on or off. This is the two core cable that I'm using. Um, time electrical cables from Screwfix. So I'm gonna bring the cable from up underneath the truck through this grommet here that I've, um, the hole I've already made. These are for the reversing cameras. Um, so I'll pass it through there, through the, um, this is the uh, door step by the way, up behind the dashboard to my switch. Is that eh? Roll. I've got a what have I got? Ham and cheese and onion. Ham and cheese and onion roll. Cucumber and everything. Sweet. It's got horseradish. My hands are filthy, but one out of mustard who too. Cares? <laughs> and a cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Hello, handsome. <laughs> oh, I just put that on the um is the hopper out? No. No. Right. I'm gonna get ready and Shoot out, do the shopping, then come back. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have this roll and then mm -hmm. carry on. I feel like we're back to the beginning again. I've stripped oh, it off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Again, be running these up up to my uh, little control panel up there. These are the two cables coming from the dashboard, from the uh, the two prong rocker switch. Right, so this is the camera wire and the fuse. I'm going to cut into that. Strip that back. Use a yellow crimp connector for this one because this cable is a lot thicker. Don't need cables this thick for these reversing cameras, but. Um, 
it was because I had these little mini blade fuses available days right when I turn the screen off at night time the infrared LEDs they still illuminate for a couple of nights two three four nights it's absolutely fine but this just sits here doing nothing so um putting the switch on turns the LEDs off so the cameras are on so yes effectively it's turning the cameras off and then once I turn the monitor off it's no longer using any power. Do what, mate? You buy this second hand? Yeah. Yeah, no, the other, uh, the other week, uh, me and my mate were driving up. I said, here's an old set box. <laughs> it is indeed, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm cutting some alley panels out for um, my uh, little climb through window that I'm making. do is I'll rivet it in, seal it, once it's riveted and it'll be the same on this side. Okay, so I've made a, a control panel uh, to house all my switches, USB socket, accessory socket, and a voltage meter. All these switches have a use. My um, issue at the moment is the switches uh, to fit in this area. I'm gonna have to get the multi-tool and just trim off about five mil off the edge here and a little bit off the bottom here. Head unit's gonna get changed and speakers upgraded, etc. but um, Okay, so the control panel's now in after a lot of cutting and shutting. 